G'day, my name's Bob Scott. I work for Stocker Preston Real Estate in Margaret River, and the property I'm going to show you today is about 25 minutes southeast of Margaret River. So we're going down Bustle Highway, and uh, eight kilometres out of Margaret River, we pass through the quiet little town of Witchcliffe, which is poised to grow with um, some subdivisions happening to the west of town. And then uh, out of Witchcliffe and onto Bustle Highway, and we head on down to Warner Glen Road. Now, Warner Glen Road wind, winds off to the southeast, and uh, we come to the well known one lane Warner Glen Bridge. Here's a shot from the other side of the bridge, coming from the Warner Glen side with the Blackwood River. This is the first place where we cross the Blackwood River. And the Blackwood is the southwest major river, it's navigable right up to Warner Glen Bridge, which is 42 kilometres upstream from Augusta. So you can take quite a good sized boat on down to Augusta. Now this is the farm that we're going to look at. Coming in from the road, only a kilometre past the bridge. That's the house that's on the first block. And the entrance. Now the house hasn't been lived in for a while and the area around the house at this time of the year hasn't yet been grazed but uh, at the time of making this movie we're a week or two away from having some stock put in around the house area which will uh, clean it right up so this area is unmaintained but the uh, the interior of the house is livable but you would probably want to build another house somewhere down closer to the river so here's a few shots of the inside of the house and an overview of the block. The house is towards the top right hand corner of the block. Uh, you'll notice there's a little two hectare area there that's been excised from the block. It might have been an old school location. And the Blackwood River winding down the left hand side. So from the house, we head out uh, past the old vineyard which is just at the back of the house and through the shed and utility area. There's probably about oh, five acres, I suppose, of um, sheds and utility areas. The old dairy, you can see, just coming into view on the left there. The property is now leased by a dairy farmer, but that dairy is no longer used. Uh, the current lessee is keen to stay on and he uh, runs uh, a massive dairy further southeast. It's silage season, which comes just before hay season. And all those white rolls scattered across the paddocks are silage. And the density of those rolls in the paddocks gives you some idea as to the productivity of this country. There's a pan up the creek line, which runs uh, from the Warner Glen Road past the house and down to the Blackwood River. And now we're panning around to the southwest. These shots are taken from the cattle yards, which are just behind the house. And looking around to the south there. And off to the southeast and back towards the road. There's the creek line that runs from the house down to the river. So the bush in the distance is where the river runs. So now we're going to go for a run down the laneway through the centre of the property. So we're heading south from the house now, leaving the creek line behind us and running across the larger productive areas of the property. The hay was cut uh, a week or two prior to these shots being taken and you can see the regrowth between the hay rolls.
this northern block that we're looking at now, which has the house on it, is a total of around 156 acres. And the southern block, which we'll be going across shortly, is uh, just over 100 acres. So you can see it's all been seeded properly. And down through the trees there is the Blackwood River. This particular block has 900 odd metres of Blackwood River frontage. And the southern block, the 100 acres, has around about 350 to 400 uh, metres of river frontage. So what we're looking at here is the little reserve that runs along between the river and the property. It's uh, between about 5 and 15 metres wide in different places. This is one of the areas that comes down to that reserve. The river does flood through this area um, to varying levels. Uh, it's never got up as far as the house on this property, even in the, uh, the record-breaking 1982 flood. But uh, this little area along the edge here uh, probably floods every 10 or 15 years. There's a, a little boat ramp being dug down here many years ago, well hidden. So you could tidy this up and, uh, and launch your dinghy from here and head down to Augusta. You can actually take quite a large boat from here to Augusta. Whether you'd get it down the boat ramp or not, I don't know. But um, there's uh, a few obstacles that you need to know about in the upper river between Warner Glen Bridge and Alexander Bridge. And then it's pretty clear all the way down to Augusta. Great swimming in the river. From about hay season on. So from October onwards, uh, swimming in the river is great. Uh, there's seawater that runs up underneath the freshwater. And by Christmas time, that seawater makes it up to about Warner Glen Bridge. And you can actually feel it when you're swimming in the river. The surface temperature is very pleasant, uh, much warmer than the ocean. And down around your feet, down to about two metres deep, uh, the water is almost body temperature. And then if you dive down below that, you run into some very cold water and that's actually the seawater that's run up uh, from the river mouth. So you'll get your uh, ocean going uh, fish species up as far as Alexander Bridge too. I have seen dolphins in the river and there's a, uh, a ferry service that um, operates on the river in the lower river and occasionally makes trips up to Alexander Bridge which is just downstream from this property. Most of the river's wilderness all the way down to Augusta, along the banks. On the opposite side of the river from this particular property is a 1600 hectare property called Boat Hall. So back to the farmland again, and we're now on the southern block, 2413. Just a few shots generally of the 2413 end of the property. There's a little bit of area on 2413 which uh, isn't cut for hay. We're right down on the southern boundary here and getting some shots back towards the, uh, the northern end of the property where the house is.
Now we're near the southern boundary of the property here and just driving back from the river back towards the central laneway. Is a shot from the southern boundary looking east and then panning around to the north. We're now looking back towards the house, which is a, a kilometre or two away. Now looking due north and then panning around to the west, which is where the river runs. So now we're going to leave the house and all the history it contains, all the hard work that's gone in over the years there to create this beautiful property. And we're going to head on down along the road frontage of the property. So there's over a kilometre of road frontage here and on the opposite side of the property of course it's all river frontage. But this gives you an idea of the productivity and the scale of the property. And when I say property I mean both blocks together. 2410 with the house and 2413 the southern 100 acre block. And from here we will head down to the end of Warner Glen Road which is only about four or five kilometres away if that and then uh, in that area is uh, Alexander Bridge so I'll give you a quick look around Alexander Bridge on the way out. So here we are coming into the old Alexander Bridge picnic area. Great spot, just one of those little very informal camping areas in the bush, very easy going. It's where the highway meets the river, there's the boat ramp and the Blackwood here is wide and deep, great spot for swimming. The river's tidal right up here. And there's a water ski area further downstream too, uh, towards Malloy Island. So you could put your ski boat in at the property and head on down the river. You would go under this new Alexander Bridge and down through the water ski area past Malloy Caravan Park and Malloy Island, and then on down through the Hardy Inlet and down to Augusta. And if you're brave enough, you can actually take it out through the river mouth. So this is underneath the new Alexander Bridge. This is where the, uh, the ferry comes to occasionally from Augusta. 
and the river is wide and deep like this all the way down to the Hardy Inlet and then of course very wide right down to Augusta. But that's another story what lies further down the river. Thanks for watching. Give me a call if you'd like to look at the property.